What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Let's jump right on in and start talking about all the grease points on your John Deere 7R tractors. All right, so I'm starting in sort of an odd spot, but on these John Deere 7Rs, you are gonna have two main places where you're going to have to do greasing, and that's gonna be on the front axle and at the rear at our hitch. But here on the front axle, if you have triple link suspension, then you are going to have a ton of grease points that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are hitting. Now, this machine here is outfitted with that triple link suspension, so we'll make sure to hit over all of those. So I'm gonna start over here on this right-hand side of this axle, and then we'll work our way across, we'll show a couple of spots in the middle, and then know that we just have the same exact matching points over on the left-hand side. So if we start here at the front of the axle, we are going to have our tie rod so we are going to have a grease point right here and if we move over this is going to be the vertical part of our TLS or triple link suspension so this is going to be the vertical suspension and so you're going to have two grease points one on the top one on the bottom of this cylinder that allows for that suspension there then once we move to the back side here of the axle you're going to have your steering cylinder which is going to have two grease points one on one end one on the other then you're also going to have here in the middle here in the knuckle you're going to have your u-joint in here we're going to have grease points on this mfwd u-joint then we're also going to have a grease point right here at the top of our axle housing right here on the back side that is going to be for our mfwd kingpins now what makes this a triple link suspension is for one you have vertical right here the other two pieces of this triple link suspension is you are going to have this long piece of the axle that runs back towards the middle of the tractor here that is your second piece then you're going to have this small linkage here in the front that runs across it's going to have two grease points on it one on this side one on the other side and this is going Going to be your third piece to that triple link suspension now here in our rear hitch is going to be really the only other point that we're going to have a bunch of these grease points and maintenance points and just remember that the same thing at the front whatever we have on the right hand side we're also going to have on the left hand side so first place that we're going to notice right away is going to be on our draft arms here we are going to have a grease point here at the bottom and a grease point here at the top then if we move just directly behind that, we're gonna have our lift cylinders. So here we're gonna have, once again, a grease point at the top and a grease point at the bottom. And if we move just right on further back from that lift cylinder top, we can see right through here, we're gonna have a grease point that's actually gonna be on our, what's called the rock shaft, which is the shaft here at the top that helps with the raising and lowering of this three point hitch. So then whenever we move over to the left hand side, once again, we're gonna have those same grease points. We're gonna have those here on the actual draft arm itself. We're gonna have those on the lift cylinder, top and bottom, one back behind on the rock shaft. And then last place that we need to not forget is that we are going to have grease points here on our center link here at the top and at the bottom. Now there are gonna be some exceptions. If you have some different style hitches back here at the rear maybe some different wagon hitches things like that you may have a few more grease points that you need to check out now you may also have a front three-point hookup on these tractors and if so then you're going to have grease points on those as well that look like this so if you do have those make sure that you're taking care of those just like you would all of your other ones here on your rear hitch now this tractor that we use today is going to be the john deere 7 r210 but if you just keep in mind no matter which john deere 7 r model that you are looking at that your main places we're looking at are going to be the front axle and the rear hitch and we're making sure and checking all the points that i've just pointed out there should not be one that you should miss so i hope this video helps you out I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we suggest you'd hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you are looking for more videos like this or just more videos over John Deere equipment in general, make sure to go check out the rest of the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.